What's up everybody? Welcome back to some Red Dead Redemption 2. So last time we rescued, well, we saved a priest from getting ran over by a train. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting. I don't do so well. Please. Okay. I work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. They all say um, we've also managed to rescue Sean. Very true. He was part of our group and we managed to save him from, I guess, the, uh, from bounty hunters? I don't really know who we saved him from. All I know is that we were really close to Blackwater. And now we're doing a mission with Jose, the Spines of America. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown, what are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. God forbid they'll know you took it, because it'll be with you. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't mm. kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. <laughs> yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> so this game is starting to grow on me a little bit. I just had to get into the groove of it. And now I got the majority of the issues out of the way. It's actually a pretty fun game. Ooh. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by, by marriage. marriage. We should hang up our hats now. Uh, topping A in time with your horse's gallop will stop its stamina from training. Oh, I just left him. All right, here we are. Yeah. You're fine. Whoa. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. All right. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. Do you want us to crouch? Oh, I can't crouch. <laughs> Yeah, I can hide in the bushes. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. As we walk our way up to our destination. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Yeah. You see anyone? Nope. Okay. I reckon we could do it now. Sneak in, I'll get the coach. You can try the house. Or wait until morning when I'll head over, distract them by putting on a little show. While you sneak into the house, find what you can, and then get the stagecoach. What do you think? Hmm. I have a feeling that they're sleeping, and I don't. Yeah, let's do night. Let's do it now. All right. If I right, fail, then ready? I fail. If it gives me the Let's option go. to change today, I might switch it if I fail. So I don't know how. Peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Sneak up to the Carmody Dell. See, I'm assuming that everybody is sleeping. Oh, 
don't see nobody. At least not in this window. Maybe I gotta go through the back. Head low. Alright, it's empty in there. What my eyes can dissuade. He's in the stage house. Oh, hell no. That's cutting it close. Don't tell me I have to go through that door. Okay, there's the man that I just so almost walked in on. I mean, do I just walk through the front door? That seems a lot safer than just walking through his bedroom. What if I have to offer the items? Are you kidding me? Um, where the fuck am I gonna find forty-five dollars worth of shit? So that's thirteen dollars. Seventeen dollars. Close that. If we're gonna rob this place, gotta make sure we do it right. A carrot. An apple. Oh shit. I'm supposed to rob $45 worth of shit in this house. Money? Oh, yes. Alright, I got what I needed. Let's get the fuck out of here. Sir. Get on how? Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. All right, come on, horses. Oh, fuck, that was tense. All right, so we have successfully infiltrated this man's cousin's by marriage his house we got everything we needed and i'm pretty sure they never even knew i was there thank god hello seamus we met your cousins how was it by marriage Fine. nice people <clears throat> am i driving or is it here quickly i don't know if i'm driving or is this them uh, nice work jose Mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Uh, yes. Sure. Better than me driving my horse by myself. Might as well cut the scene there. All right, here we are back in camp. I want to make a quick little donation to the camp for first. All right. Now that that's done, then let's go into Valentine, I believe. So we can go check up on Mary Lee. Where is that? I think that's her name. Mary Linton, excuse me. All right. I'll be back with you in a second, Dutch. First, I gotta go check on my old squeeze. So here we are at Mary Linton's. Her little place. My seven has reached level three. 
Uh, knock knock. We want, we love once and true. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Uh, is, um, uh, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Get your busted cap in my ass for no reason. Hello, Arthur. Hello, lover. Mary. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Oh, that's what happened. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Mm. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been. <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. I. Uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person him? he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But... I I think of you often. What excuse is that? I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. We should have the popcorn Please. right now. Arthur. Will you help me? I'm already here. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Honey. You already owe me. Yeah, I'm about to say that. Apparently you owe him more than you think. <sighs> now I gotta go look for this and miss an idiot. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, let me look at my map. Can't believe this shit. Oh, there's bounty hunters. Alright, let's go look for this missing whelp. Wherever the hell he may be. Alright everybody, that's a lot of time for, for this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye everybody!